Hi everyone, welcome to another weekend, another video and this week's biggest news was Facebook's outage, right? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp was uh, were all down uh, for more than six hours and uh, this was something related to networking. Uh, some people were saying that it is a DNS problem, some people were saying it is a, a configuration problem at the Facebook end or some people were saying it is a BGP issue. So in this video, like I researched a lot on this topic, I followed this topic and in this video, I'm just going to tell you all uh, that what I understood uh, from this uh, whole incident and what uh, we could learn from uh, this incident. I know that lots of you uh, guys are already preparing for your CCNA or you are network engineers working somewhere in some companies and all. But uh, this video is also for uh, general public who don't understand anything about IT. So yeah, you can share uh, this video with all those people who don't even work in IT or just wanted to know more uh, about this from a technical point of view. So yeah, uh, this is just a generalized video. So if you want to skip this one, uh, so you can skip it. I'm just making it for, uh, you know, my own uh, own understanding and uh, like I have spent a lot of time researching it. So I thought why, why shouldn't I tell you guys uh, about uh, this incident? So yeah, uh, I was really interested in it. It was a big news this week. So yeah, I'm going to make a video on it. So let's begin, let's go to my laptop and I will explain you how DNS, BGP, all of that works and uh, what was the actual cause. Actually, we don't know the actual cause of the issue because uh, I guess Facebook will never let it out. Uh, like what is the actual cause of the issue? But uh, from some documentation and from, from some of this stuff, like uh, what we know from the outside, uh, we are trying to gather uh, knowledge and information around that only so yeah i'm going to explain you on that basis uh, i'm also going to share you some of the uh, more technical articles in the video description box and some other videos which will help you to understand it in a better way uh, so let's start with how things actually work in a normal environment so you will go to your browser you will type you will type facebook.com and it will get converted to some ip address so ip address is basically uh, you can think it as uh, your uh, home address on the internet routers or your systems address on the internet so facebook.com will be running uh, on a server and that server will be having an ip address which is suppose uh, facebook has this ip address 92.2.1.1 suppose this is a facebook's uh, you know ip address now uh, to get to this server from your home router first you will type facebook.com in your browser it will uh, go to a dns server that request facebook.com will go to a dns server now dns server has actually records like facebook.com equal to 98.2.1.1 google.com equal to 1.1.2.3 something like that uh, reddit.com is some uh, 22.1.3.5 so dns server is nothing but it's like a phone book of the internet like your contact list you cannot easily uh, you know remember all the contacts in your contact list but you can easily remember the names like facebook google or reddit job of dns is just to convert your name to an address and then your pc will get that address and it will send a request that take me to this address 98.2.1.1 now from here your pc will throw it out to your router which is sitting in your home so it this will be provided by your internet service provider and now the internet service provider will have its internal network of many routers connected around the you know around the city or around the metropolitan area then the isp will have a big bgp router or some bgp routers now bgp is border gateway protocol and these bgp routers will connect to other isps suppose you are using uh, vodafone uh, in the uk and this vodafone vodafone has three bgp routers number one number two and number three now these routers will connect to the companies in the us suppose us has a verizon router 
so that vodafone router will connect to a verizon router for communication between uk and the us so this is like uh, bgp routers are connected throughout the internet or throughout the world so every company every isp will be having some kind of bgp routers and in these bgp routers so facebook also own a bgp router because facebook is so big so facebook needs to own some bgp uh, routes you know the job of this bgp router is to advertise the address this 98.2.1.1 that 98.2.1.1 is connected to me so it will advertise that thing to its neighbor router and that neighbor router will advertise to other neighbor this neighbor will be advertised to other neighbor so this is how actually the internet works so suppose um, this is a facebook server this is a server of facebook this will be having a bgp router facebook will be having a bgp router and in this bgp router facebook will be advertising its network 98.2.1.1 so in the list of this router router will have a routing table in that table it will be advertising some routes and other isps will be getting it from the facebook's bgp router it actually works in this way if you see in this diagram so this a b c and d you can name it as a bgp routers so these are basically this is basically one autonomous system this is second autonomous system this is third autonomous system and this is fourth autonomous system so facebook will be having an autonomous system of its own now uh, companies big companies usually generally owns some ranges of uh, public ip addresses and uh, you know some autonomous ranges or some bgp routers now the isp or internet isx which is internet uh, service exchange uh, this will provide the asn which is autonomous system numbering now suppose a has number of 12224 b has a number of 13254 c has a number of 48533 so these asn will be basically your routers so autonomous system numbers now these will be connecting the entire world now suppose what happens that suppose this facebook owns this a and it is advertising that okay 98.1.1.1 exist here please come to me if you receive any 98111 this is the location and what happened this week that facebook's bgp router stopped advertising this 98.1.1.1 to the world so now this is disconnected facebook's bgp router stopped announcing that 98.1.1.1 exists here and it quickly routes through whole internet every router connected pro, uh, throughout the world so quickly this b will get okay 98.1.1.1 does not exist anymore c will get an update that 98.1.1.1 does not exist anymore d will get an update that 98.1.1.1 does not exist anymore so quickly the whole world knows that 98.1.1.1 does not exist it has happened right the disaster has already happened now i'm sitting on my computer on my phone or somewhere and i am typing facebook.com now again what will happen it will go to our dns okay and dns will be having a route that facebook.com exists at 98.1.1.1 but quickly this will this does not exist anymore dns does not have anything in facebook's behalf so if you go to your dns and type facebook.com it won't give you anything because the facebook has stopped advertising its route to the internet so it stopped here and your dns resolution failed so dns resolution failed means if you type facebook.com you won't get an ip address you won't get the ip address of facebook.com and the whole system fails you can't connect to the facebook.com anymore and now what is the problem with that the biggest problem which happened that facebook's employees weren't allowed to access because suppose facebook has an internal website right internal.facebook.com internal.fb.com now this fb.com itself is not resolving so most of the employees currently are working from home and when they try to fix this problem so they could not connect to their own servers so facebook 
employees cannot connect to their own servers so what they needed to do that they needed to send a team into an actual physical data center to a router and there they have you know again there they went and basically changed this bgp configuration to uh, you know uh, so that the facebook can uh, get back online so this was the major problem happened with facebook now the reason for this bgp to uh, bgp router to not advertise uh, facebook.com was a misconfiguration from facebook's end means facebook has pushed some of the code or some development or some devops things uh, to their routers or to their systems and suddenly from the with this misconfiguration this bgp stopped this bgp stopped and the whole world knows that okay facebook.com doesn't exist anymore if you type go to your pc type your dns it can't take you to the facebook.com or facebook's website so this is what happened with facebook last week this i tried to provide a very simple explanation but if you find it complicated if you don't understand bgp and all i would recommend to go through uh, some of the documentation or videos which i provided uh, in the description box and you will be able to know uh, this better and they they have explained it in a better way uh, with the uh, graphics and all so uh, please go through those resources and you will find the actual reason why facebook was uh, down this week but what what we can learn from these this thing first like test 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 before pushing anything to the production test it second thing we still require network engineers so bgp dns networking so uh, when the people say that okay network engineering job is just it is not there it is going or something like that no it is not going anywhere because even if you run so facebook has uh, its vr service called oculus right that vr service stopped working that was of no use without networking your ai your big data your machine learning nothing can work because no services cannot communicate to each other communication is the essence is the key to the whole internet so the internet is required and when there is internet then there will be job for network engineers there will be data centers there will be jobs for data center technicians operation managers and all of those things so these jobs ccna ccie ccnp are not going anywhere and these systems uh, are not going to get automated uh, very soon so uh, yeah let's see how it goes we we saw facebook reply uh, replied on this whole situation that there was a configuration mistake from their side and but uh, they lost like six seven billion dollars uh, in just uh, six hours so it is really complicated so uh, google facebook apple and all these companies we need services 24 7 365 so they can't go down right so but the this happens uh, this is it so every everything can happen we need to have failovers we need to uh, have uh, we need to do test before deploying anything into production uh, that is the basic key to avoid uh, these kind of outages and uh, this was the problem with the facebook Ho hopefully it won't come back uh, they will uh, deploy some strong mechanism and some policies some management side of things also to avoid uh, this in the future so let's hope for the best and if you enjoyed this video please uh, hit a like and yeah i will see you in the next one bye take care